Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for a much-anticipated main event. 12 rounds in the heavyweight division between these two great warriors. Bad Intentions has got his eye on the prize. Look at that focus and determination during his ring walk. Peters is making his way to the ring with a determined giddy-up in his step. Teddy, here in this matchup, two guys who tend to go the distance. What do we look for early? You know, I'm looking to see who can be more consistent in just one area. Who uses their jab a little bit steadier? Blocks the headshot. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Keep your head. A nice block by bad intentions. And a sharp counter punch by bad intentions. Misses his opponent's headshot. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Teddy, we hear a lot of people talking about where are the next great fighters coming from? In your eyes, I mean, you're around gyms all over the country, all over the world. Where are they coming from? Well, Joe, I'll tell you where they're not coming from. They're not coming from football anymore. In the old days, the big guys... Instead of going on the football field, somebody would look to make them into the next heavyweight champ. But now they're going to college, they're going to places where they find it a little bit of an easier travel. And we're losing a lot of those athletes. That's a good block by bad intentions. Three consecutive punches by Peters. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And there he counters back against his opponent. Ten clicks of the tuck. We come to the end of the round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Good block by the Cobra. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by bad intentions. He not just 
one jab. He throws that second one right behind it. Come on, side to side. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Well off the mark by Peters. And a sharp counter punch by Peters. Peters has got a tough go of it now, as you can see, swelling. So swiftly able to turn defense into offense. Nice counter punch. And what you're noticing here is his opponent is starting to be a little wary of letting his jab go because every time he jabs, he gets caught. Teddy, you talk about going out and making a few opening statements here. The jab has spoken loudly for him. Yeah, it has spoken loudly. What it's told his opponent is you're not just going to walk in. You are not coming into my house. It's going to be hard. I got a couple locks, a couple padlocks on here. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by bad intentions. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. Nice block. Well placed counter punch by Peter. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Peters is starting to bleed from the nose. Punches and bunches. Combination up top. Good block by Peters. A crushing two-punch combo by Peters. Now that's some fine work right there by Peters. End of the round here. And as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was. And, you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Peters is now in a position where he may not even realize it, but the eye is getting worse. Still, he fights on. He behaves like a fighter, and that's the greatest asset you have. It's not your jab. It's not your hook. It's not your power. It's not your footwork. It's your ability to behave like a fighter when you have to. He's doing that right now. A little head hunting right back to it. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talked about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Nice block by Peters. Halfway through this round. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Locks that belt line well. Good block by the Cobra. And another one lands. 
You know, I wonder if he's taking his man lightly because he is up on the scorecards, but you can see that he is being pressured and pushed. You know, he's in there with a real solid guy. I don't think he's taking him lightly. It's just that he's in there in the kind of waters he's never been before, deep waters, and he's swimming harder than he's ever had to swim before. Now that's some fine work right there by Peters. End of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Peters. Tried and true method that works out very well. The counter punch landing by Peters. his strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A here. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Well-targeted counter punch by Peters. <laughs> Counterpunch by Peters. Peters' movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Able to dismiss it. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Peters. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by Peters. Good job with three flush punches by bad intentions. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes to totem. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counter punch by Peters. Sharp three punches landing by Peters. And this round comes to an end. A round that was highly entertaining. They put forth a nonstop effort. Well, that's the styles that they figured to bring to this fight. Both guys with good motors. And now they're trading blows. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Little defense turns to offense by Peters. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. Lands the counter. There he is on the inside, doing well. He takes a shot. And then commits to giving one right back. 
we just have not seen the big shots from this guy. He is not throwing the power punches, Teddy. What would you say to him? Well, first of all, I would say to him, what do you think, that he's going to make a deal with you? If you don't hit him hard, he won't hit you hard? No, no, it doesn't work like that, my friend. He's going to get confidence now. He's going to take advantage of this. He's bleeding from the side of his face there. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Devastating blow by Peters. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. And a well-placed counter by Peters. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. Doubling up the jab by Peters. Well placed counter punch by Peters. And we are back underway. Another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. Way to block there. That's a tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by Peters. Well, we told you it could be this kind of fight, and as advertised thus far. And a smart counterpunch by Peters. Boy, you gotta love being his opponent, right? You come into a fight like this tonight, you're so worried about getting off your punches, landing accurate punches. Well, here it is. Not going to move the head at all. Come and get it. No, you just have to worry about you don't hurt your hands. You better hope <laughs> that you wrap them real good because you're banging that nugget all night long. Well-targeted counterpunch by Peters. What a fight. What a great, great non-stop action fight this has been. You now, he says, right back with the left hand. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. A headshot blocked. There's another left hand from him. He likes to fight on the outside, but right now he's taking some punishment. Oh, he's standing up tall. He's on the outside, but he's allowing his opponent to get into places where he can find them. Standing straight up. is in a bad spot right now. He's been stunned. Punch it out. Punch it out. Good block by bad intentions. He took
took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Final 10 seconds of the sixth round. Look at him put his punches together. Well, the ability to adapt, so important. Who can make the changes now as we're halfway through this scheduled 12-rounder? Good defense, just covering up down low. Doubles up the jab to the head. Peters' eye is nearly swollen. There it is! Bad Intentions is stunned and he is hurt. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Come on, side to side. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Blocks it away. Double jab to the head. Halfway through this round here. Well placed counter punch by bad intentions. what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just straight action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Misses his opponent's headshot. <laughs> Fires right back at him. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Ten clicks of the toss. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Right back at him with a left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. He got rocked earlier in this fight. I don't see him changing much up, Teddy. Would you be advising him that now is time for an adjustment? Well, you have to have a plan B, maybe even a plan C when you come into it. Maybe he doesn't have one. Now, if he doesn't have one, you're not going to tell him to start changing up because then you're basically saying, I don't know what to do, but, <laughs> you know, we're in trouble. Nice block by Peter. Doing well on the outside. Well, if ever you wanted to explain to somebody the benefits of distance while fighting, this is a perfect example by what we're seeing out of him on the outside. Well, you know, so many times I've seen tall guys, and what the heck's the sense of being tall if you don't know how to fight tall? He knows how. And there's the left hand working well for him again.
tactical game paying off. You can see the counterpunch. Yeah, you see the counterpunch, but you know what I see? I see a little tentativeness now in him because he's afraid to let anything go because when he misses, bang, he gets caught. Bad intentions, his opponent is saying to himself, I can't believe this. Every time this guy throws, it seems like he lands. He's very judicious with his work. Yeah, and that's not by accident. You know, that's his temperament. He has that kind of temperament. If you went out with the guy, you talk to the guy, you know, he thinks before he says things. He doesn't just, you know, let his mouth go. He doesn't just let his hands go. He lets them go when he thinks he should. Well-targeted counterpunch by Peters. around ringside and look at the judges I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score yeah it was and you know it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard Marvin Hagler where Leonard stole rounds at the end where he just clipped off 30 seconds and that's exactly what the judges remembered by bad intentions. He said he was going to do it from the outside, and now he has. He just got to his man. His opponent had no idea that he was still in range. He thought he was at a safe distance. Now he knows he wasn't. How about a return to sender with the left hand? He was stunned, but now he's surviving. Decide to trade there. And a well placed counter by Peters. Good, strong combo. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. <laughs> Parries that punch intended for the head. Nice, smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. of the round there he was able to stun his opponent Teddy when you're training a guy that's coming off a round where he just got to his man 
What do you do? Do you say, hey, I saw that, and here's how you did it? How do you approach that? Well, you want to make sure you remind them exactly what you're talking about, how he set it up. Don't think about just a big punch that landed. Remember how you got to that point. Two snapping jabs by Peters. Able to cover up that gut. Defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Peters. Able to get him up against the ropes. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. of non-stop action. Now the final minute has arrived. Gets rid of that body shot. Devastating blow by Peter. Nice block. And a smart counter punch by Peters. End of the round here. Joe and Teddy with your ringside. It's turned out to be a very good fight because it's very competitive. It's one of those fights that's really hard to score. Yeah, it is hard to score. It's going to be up to the judges now. Hopefully, they've been watching the way they need to watch, and they're competent enough to make sure that, that it's not just a matter of who's throwing, but, you know, who's really landing. Comes right back at him with a left hand. that punch intended for the head. Well, he's told us all along the strategies to fight on the outside. He cannot be smothered like that. That's why you see him pushing away and shoving his man back. Good job by drawing in his opponent and then landing the counterpunch by Peters. by Peters. Peters' movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Bad intentions is... Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. Good-looking counter punch.
One minute to go in this round. Neither man has decided to slow down at all. Oh, boy, what a round. Stay away from the inside. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Good defensive skill with the block by the Cobra. A nice block by the Cobra. As that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank. And it's probably not going to a decision. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Good block by the Cobra. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. that punch intended for the head. Good block there by the Cobra. 60 seconds to go in what has been a toe-to-toe -to -toe war. Oh, what a great round. to get away from those punches. Nice block by the Cobra. go after a very exciting Ladies fight now in the books. Let's send it up to the ring to find out. Well, it's been said it's like kissing your sister. It goes down as a draw. For my partner, Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.